Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this new series on this channel where we will be testing out Pinterest DIYs. And today we're gonna start off with a recipe for healthy lion bars. So without further ado, let's get started. What we need is peanut butter, maple syrup, the darkest chocolate you can find, shredded coconut, a handful of walnuts, and rice waffles. We will also need a pan with water, a bowl of some sort, this one works the best for me, and a cake tin with parchment paper. <laughs> My poor dog was so scared of the camera. Start with mixing the peanut butter and the maple syrup. It doesn't look very tasty yet, but it will get better. Next, crumble the rice waffles in the bowl. Now it just looks like popcorn. Also add the crushed walnuts. You can crumble them with your hands like I do or cut them with a knife. Add the shredded coconut and mix this together. Next we're gonna melt the peanut butter with maple syrup and the chocolate. Heat the water in a pan on the stove. The best way to do this is to use a big glass bowl on top of a small pan, but since this is the smallest pan and biggest bowls I could find, I'm gonna do it this way. When the water is hot, melt the peanut butter and maple syrup first. We heat it to make it more liquid to make mixing easier. Make sure you stir it often. When the mixture is more liquid, switch the bowls with the bowl with chocolate. By the way, you can also heat the mixtures in a microwave, but I prefer this method. While the chocolate is melting, pour the peanut butter mixture in a bowl with crushed rice waffles and mix it together. When the chocolate is melted, add this as well. <laughs> Look who did another brave attempt to explore.
When you mix everything together, grab the cake tin and put everything in. Mix your down with the back of a spoon. Last step, put it in the fridge and let it chill for a couple of hours. Time to chill yourself. When you feel like it's time, get it out of the fridge and lift the paper out of the cake tin. You can put the tin right back in the cabinet, or wherever you keep it, just because of the paper it didn't get dirty. Cut this big bar into smaller bars and they are ready to go. I like to take them with me to work as a healthy snack. And I put the leftover crumbs in a bowl to snack on at home. That's it for today, if you have any suggestions on what pen I should do next, let me know in the comments. I will also link the pen with the original recipe in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!